Fuck. 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 Hey, what's going on my jewels and gems this is your girl keisha coming back with another video so this video will be about um a, a young sister teenage black girl her name is miracle boyd she's 18 years old she's a young activist um she uses her voice to um denounce police brutality um while she protests so there's a small video that you guys just seen of a police officer running up on Miracle and knocking, not knocking her out, but knocking out her teeth. So she's missing teeth due to this aggressive monster who swore to protect and serve the people. This is the reason why people feel like they, the police department should be defunded. And it's sad because, let's say, situations like in the hood, like I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. So if there's no police officers or very, or police officers that are lacking in my neighborhood, in my hood, then I could only imagine what can happen if there's no police in my neighborhood. There's dealers, there's prostitution, drug addicts. These there, there's still criminal activity going on, so I could only imagine if there was no police around, cause damn near every night, especially when the summertime comes, you know when it gets hot, freaks, monsters, goo gobbles, you know the Freddy Cougars, the Michael Myers, all them mofo's come out at night, but especially during the summertime, it don't matter what time of day, if it's summertime they out. So I couldn't imagine my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, being from Flatbush, born and raised, you know, not having no police. And this is why people feel, again, that they, sh that they should be defunded. But it's sad it has to get that way because if there's no police, then who's going to protect, you know what I'm saying, people, people like me? You know what I'm saying? Hard, hardworking people who just come go to work, mind the business, want to get home safe. The elderly people, the children, just good, de just decent people that just, just decent citizens that want to just go to work, feed their families, take care of their families, be safe, keep the peace, and just live their life in, 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 one, in one piece. I don't understand what the issue is here. But yes, yeah, so this sister was punched in the face, as you saw in that video. It was a very short video, but you could see... When the cop ran up on her, punched her, and then she went, then she ran away. And it's so sad that she's 18 years old and she has to go through this brutality. You know, such a, she's a baby. And for you to, and when I say baby, we already know they're not literally like a baby. I mean, you know, they are a young adult according to law, but I'm just saying she's so young to, to, to take on the responsibility to be an activist. And then to be treated like that is ridiculous. And, you know, a lot of these statues have been coming down, have been torn down because they do represent slavery, oppression, racism. And if we're going to move past all of that, you know, for generations to come, for years to come, then these, sim these statues that symbolizes hate and, and more... Nothing, nothing, nothing great to the community. Nothing great to America. It doesn't represent anything special. They don't, it doesn't represent unity. So why keep these statues up? And that's why people been tearing them down. And that's why she was there. For that disgusting cop to punch her in her face and knock out her teeth. He should be ashamed of himself. Someone should knock out all his damn teeth. I don't, I, I, like, there's something wrong with these cops, and we all know it's not all, so we, so no one should get all offended. We know it's not every single cop that goes around beating up on citizens, especially black people, and brutalizing them and terrorizing them. This has been going on for decades, and it's disgusting. Someone needs to put a foot up his dirty booty because it's so disgusting so it a lot of it could be hate because again he was a white cop she's a black girl it could be that 
It could be mental illness because sometimes these people, these cops are not right in their mind. A lot of times they're, they're gone too. They're not mentally stable. And with a job like being a police officer, they, shouldn't be, they should not be a police officer if you can't function like a civilized adult amongst ding, others. Ding, ding. You shouldn't have that damn job. Hello? What are you doing being a police officer if you can't even handle an 18-year-old girl? who you know you're stronger than physically, so why would you want to punch her in the face? That makes you a man that makes you sleep good at night? Or maybe you're not a king in your own home. A lot of times these, these dudes beating up on women, a lot of times they don't have no control in their house. A lot of times they're women running them. Women telling them what they can eat, what they can drink, how they can dress, who they can hang out with. A lot of times these, these dudes are not kings in their own home. They're controlled. So when they have no control and no power, they use and abuse it when they have a certain job like an authority position being a police officer. Now Miracle Boyd is suffering face injuries. She's suffering face injuries. I hope Miracle, and I believe she would get better. I believe she would, she, would, she would break through this. She would get through this. But this needs, this has to stop. And then when people work up the courage and, hey, start catching these police officers by themselves, or whatever the case may be, then it is, then that's just what may happen. That's that what may happen. And that shouldn't be a surprise if people really start fighting back. And people will be so angry. They don't care if their life is at jeopardy. They're just so sick and tired of being terrorized and being brutalized and have to be scared to walk out in the street. I don't understand that. So now she's suffering and um, I just hope she gets better. But, whew, you know, this cop needs to be, he needs to be suspended or even better yet fired because he should not be on the streets if he's going to be going around punching girls in the face. That's ridiculous. I wonder if you take that badge and that gun away from that police officer and, and all the other police officers that have been caught beating up on people, especially women and children, what kind of man they really are. Let's see if they can hold their own weight without that badge and that gun. Let's see who and what they are without that badge and that gun. This is not the first time we have seen police beating up and brutalizing citizens. There was a sister who was eight months pregnant and the cop, she claimed the cop punched her in the face. Another sister who was trying to aid another uh, um, um, black woman who was a uh, um, she was resisting arrest, but she came to try to help her, and then she got socked in the mouth. So it's just like, <laughs> what, what's going on here? It's crazy, and the brutality has to stop. I don't know when it will stop, but it might get really ugly because people are losing patience. People are tired, and when you keep beating on people. You keep brutalizing, you keep bullying that, that anger, that hurt, that hate is going to build up in that body and is going to let loose and they're going to tear things up and they don't care if their life is, if they, if they do something that jeopardizes their life, they're just tired. Some people want out. Some people say, well, you know, if it, means my, if it means my life, so what? At least I'll be at peace and I don't have to be walking around in the streets scared for my life. No one should have to live a life like that. So Jewels and Gems, um, that's the story I'm bringing. And um, stay tuned for more videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can spark it up with me in the next video. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye.